It's been a funny old week with uh, the the Monday bank holiday and the birthday Wednesday and um, just feel, it's felt really full on. And, and sometimes I get to the end of a week like this and feel like, you know, what have I actually achieved? But again, because of the the, the increase in my planning recently, um, I can look back at that and think, actually, I've, I've done okay here. I've done okay. I've moved some, some fairly big pieces. I've had some good conversations and uh, I've made some I've made some progress. I did, however, have to today make the decision to put a pause on a course that I was due to start on Monday um, just because I've really bitten off more than I can chew. In fact, I did a LinkedIn video, a LinkedIn live on this subject. What happens when you bite off more than you can chew? Uh, Only the second one I've done, I should really be doing one of these a week, at least once a week, maybe more, but that's something to get into anyway and I realized that I've just had I've just yeah I could have made it but it would have been at at too great a cost I think um so I'm gonna pour a pause in it I'll do it do it a week later which means I can take my time with it making sure I do a better job and um and you know hopefully it'll be a better well it will be a better quality course as well and also it means that I get to talk about it a bit more and in the lead up to it and therefore get more people booked onto it because we haven't had many signups which is the other kind of factor in, in all of this and that's largely down to the fact that I've, um, I've just been so focused on everything else and I haven't been doing what I usually do with emails and social media and and so on so so that decision was made and that kind of was a good relief a bit of a relief um, but uh, yeah so speaking stuff today there've been uh, a couple of small developments with Gen Healthy Mind stuff, some of the HPE work that we've been doing, Hewlett Packard, um, and we have a schedule apparently there looking at replicating the whole program across their Middle East team as well. Um, and the some of the, the pro bono sessions that I've done for them, for, for some of their clients or prospective clients, are now coming back and saying, yep, yeah, we want to we do this, we want to book some sessions. So again, um, it could be that there's another bunch of sessions coming through between now and the end of the month at uh, the sort of the end of the year um uh, which which is going to be um fantastic i've just i've got the capacity i can do it there's a few weeks where i haven't got anything in at all um and even on the weeks where i, I already have sessions booked in of course i can do i, I know that i'm good for three four at a pinch um, sessions delivered during the week i just got to make sure i have at least one clear day where i'm not presenting to regenerate and this is what I've found I need at the moment um, other than that that there, there there's the check-in really because that's all that's I say that's all that's happened it feels like it feels like a lot's happened this week I've made some good progress forwards I've made that commitment to the speaker um, the speaking course as well and that starts in a couple of weeks excuse me a couple of weeks time um, and I'm getting a bit more involved in Jerry Duffy's group as well. He's got a really good new speakers group and he's asked me to, um, to, to kind of be in there. So there's, there's some things happening in that. And um, Momentum had a conversation yesterday as I, as I reported back on this, uh, on these videos. I think with Momentum, we're probably going to end up doing our plan B. We just heard back from the studio in terms of how much it's going to cost to uh, put on a a live broadcast from their professional studio is going to be in the region of 20,000 euros for the two days. So that ain't going to be happening. Um, <laughs> so we will be looking at plan B, which is to hire a hotel and uh, maybe even buying some of the kits that we need in terms of lighting um, and so on, and then get a technician, pay a technician and a camera crew to come in and um, do the filming and, and the streaming. So we've got some production. Um but uh, yeah, so that's that, that's Pat's dealing with that at the moment. So that's not on my on my plate. But yeah, there we go. There's the check-in for the day. I'm going to down tools now um, and uh, head off to make some tea. But thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel and check back in again tomorrow for another daily update. Bye for now.